Not all rooms are created with a box ceiling. Knowing how to customize the ceiling type can help you accurately estimate a room. I'll show you how to add a tray ceiling. First, I select the room that needs to have a tray ceiling added. I'll open the properties of the room and find the ceiling type selection and change it from the default box to tray. Xactimate now opens additional properties for me to adjust and shows the lines representing the tray slope. First, I'll enter the ceiling height, then the tray height. The distance to opening indicates the width of ceiling between the walls and the tray opening. I'll enter 18 inches here. The distance to recess indicates the horizontal distance between the tray opening and the edge of the tray ceiling. I'll enter 8 inches here. Now I'll take a look at the room in 3D to make sure the tray looks correct. Try it yourself. I think you'll find that adding a tray ceiling isn't nearly as hard as you'd think. Fill out the survey below to let us know if there's anything you'd like to learn more about. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more expert tips each week.